Hey everyone, 3 3 uh, team game, Dawn of War action, a lot of fighting, uh, pretty cool replay. So I chose this one out of like the 100 replays I have. Uh, what was it? This guy? I was chatting with this guy back and forth. Uh, Nijibru? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyways, I played this guy a few times. Really, really, really strong player. I gave him a lot of advice. Uh, really, really strong player. Anyways, this player here recommend that I make a video where I just point out mistakes. And this video, this replay, is like all mistakes. This, this, this is just a total... There's no real teamwork in this one. And they did they did talk about it uh post game. And during the post game, they got along fine. Now, what's interesting about this is even though these guys make tons and tons and tons of mistakes in this replay, uh each and every one of these players <clears throat> Each and every one of these players in this free play, and this was like, I don't know, 10 hours ago? Yeah, I want to say this was 10 hours ago. So 10 hours ago, I was talking to these guys, and I was playing with them. And something I, I will say is each and every one of these players is better than me. I'm, I'm almost positive that each and every one of these players is better than me. Which is saying a lot, because I have a lot of experience and all that. But even with these guys being a lot, lot, lot better than me, uh, they still made mistakes. So no one's, you know, no one's perfect. I know, I, I was playing recently, and I made tons of mistakes. It's something, you know, in the heat of battle, with all this crazy nonsense going on, it's a lot harder to keep track of things. I think in 1v1s, it's a lot easier to figure out what's going on and make less mistakes. But in 3v3s, there's just so much going on. And the maps are big, so you make mistakes more often. But anyways, this is basically a mistake video. And I hope you like it. Uh, I'll focus on Najibu, uh, because this was his suggestion. And I guess I will play it. So, yeah, these guys are all top-tier players, some of the best I've seen, but I will point out their mistakes, and this is what they, this is what they asked for, so, this is a request video, I don't mind doing request videos, so if you have more requests, let me know, and I'll go ahead and play it. This is a pretty short replay, so, I think there's, I want to say there's two fights, it's a pretty short replay. Right, I'm going to be focusing on, on this guy because he recommended me. Not a bad uh, spot. I kind of like this spot better because it has this like protection. I kind of like this spot a little bit better. It's not a bad thing to be aggressive, but as a, as a defense faction, this is a defense faction. I feel like it's not a bad idea to be aggressive, but you should you should put your buildings next to each other. See, you got all this game chat going on. I'm not gonna read it. Uh, it's just you know game chat. Nothing interesting. Holding it will be hard. Something I noticed is Najibu always does delayed commander. Now delayed commander is not a bad thing, but I just want to point that out that Najibu does do delayed commander. Capturing it was easy. Holding it will be hard. Double generator opening. Um not a huge fan. 
Tau honestly does not require that much power. They're not really a power heavy faction. So I'm not a huge fan of uh, double generator. Chaos, uh, not a fan of this turret. If it's Tau, sure. But if it's not Tau, it's a, it's a bad turret. This will not stop uh, commanders. Commanders can just wipe it out. So I'm not a huge fan of the turret placement. Um, it was everything else looks fine. It will be hard. Yeah, everything else is fine. Nice uh, teamwork, helping each other cap the point. This Tau guy is being very passive. This is definitely a Tau main, because every time I played with him, he picked Tau. So definitely 100% a Tau main. I like how he capped and then did the second generator. That's a lot better, I think. It's a lot more efficient. A two minute uh, forbidden archive, that's extremely expensive. This is an extremely, extremely expensive build order. This is a Necron Lord uh, focus build order. Not a huge fan of it. The Necron, the Necron Lord is honestly not that strong. So you gotta be careful there. This base ring guy is, I don't even know. I'm not sure how to explain this. This is a weird build order. Double space marines. If you're gonna go double space marines, just do one scout. You don't need two scouts. Now he's doing economy. This is just... This this guy was the host too. This was the host. He's just hitting, he's hitting random buttons. That's all he's doing is hitting random buttons. I would definitely reinforce these squads. You need a strong tier 1 to survive. Psyker first. Uh, sure, because of the, the stealth suits. Again, Necron Lord is not that strong. You should be able to kill it, no problem. And Tau Commander is not that strong either. Guard actually destroys Tau, no problem. So it should be an easy fight. Phase shift, phase shift, waste time. Phase shift is something I fall for, so if you fall for it, not a big deal. I don't get this build order. I guess it's anti orc. This is like an anti orc build order. Could also be an anti guard build order. You just flamethrower the guardsman and flamethrowers uh, do more damage than the commissar so the commissar cannot stand these flamethrowers so not the worst idea this is a super greedy necron player and kind of a jerk too look how he's uh, look how all this is placed this is extremely greedy. You can get away with extremely greedy, but it's, it's this is kind of a, this is a this is a jerk thing to do. This very passive uh, Tau player doing economy boom. He is tier two. Fire warrior upgrade. He has one. Okay, he's got two squads of fire warriors. I was gonna say, if you get the fire warrior upgrade with two squads, it's not that big of a deal. It's really not. I will strike the killing I'd rather get the missiles. Okay, he does have the missiles. So a five minute missile. That's not bad. This is a super weird space ring build order. I'm not a huge fan of it. Flamethrowers are not bad. He's also doing economy. So economy tier one that's a weird build order. I'm not a huge fan. Tau fight. Tau fights are not fun. It's whoever clicks first. Whoever clicks first wins. Necron Lord. Necron Lord is upgraded, so it's going to be hard to kill. Target acquired. 
I think Tau versus Necron is rough. I don't think this uh, listening point was upgraded. The site went down, no problem. Scare was for detection. Fully upgraded Tau Commander. I guess that's fine. If you want to do it. This is a good uh, warrior placement. Chaos tier 3. Demons on the way. Demons are super good. But not against uh, two players. I don't think you can beat. Demons are extremely, extremely good. But I don't think they can beat all this. But and fire warriors just ignore armor. So fire warriors just you know. Demons are not a big deal. Necrons bullying Tau. Uh, I think Necrons and Tau is about 50/50. So. What we really need is a Crute Trainer, a Crute Shaper. The Crute Shaper just kills Necrons, no problem. What is that, a 7 minute Chimera? That's pretty fast. Chimeras are really good. Going tier 2 on 3 generators, not a huge fan. You want like 5. You need to go tier. Yeah, now he's realizing it. You need five generators to go tier two. That's like the rule of thumb. You need plus 50 to go tier two. Obliterators. Uh, obliterators getting killed super easily. These demons are just dying like left and right. And flamethrowers are anti demon. So this is just a. Demons are really good. What is that? Seven minute demon. Seven minute demon's really good, but you know it's. As you can see here, these space screens are dropping like flies. I think he lost like two squads. But yeah, these space screens are dropping like flies. This is a really good tau placement. See so yeah, how this 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 guard player wanted me to point it out. Point out mistakes. Uh, Do you have anything better to do? No. I can help you. <laughs> um. But yeah. What was I gonna say? He's getting the guardsman attack upgrades without any guardsman, right? Yeah. This is a good uh, anti tau build. Going full, you know, you go full grenades. Guardsman, you go full grenades. You put them in the Chimera. And you can just wipe all this out. If you put your Chimera guardsman, like right here, you can just wipe all of this out, no problem. So not a bad build order um, but yeah you definitely need five generators this is getting this is getting really expensive he's getting this upgrade which costs 100 power and he's getting this chimera which is like another 100 power so that's like 200 power for like nothing so but yeah <coughs> so yeah and he's also got the scan unlocked uh, you should definitely scan stuff. Just scan whatever. Doesn't really matter. Space Ring Tier 2. I don't even know how. He spent like everything Tier 1. I don't even know how he's Tier 2. Um, yeah, this host is like... This host is like easy AI. He plays exactly like Easy AI. And he was a host. Um, so, yeah. Usually the team with the slag wins. Yeah, Chaos had the slag. Usually the, the team with the slag wins. And what's funny, what's funny about all of this is I think one defiler would have killed everything. Like, actually, one defiler. One defiler would have killed all this. 
killed all that. Like actually just one defiler would have won the game. Or even or even a predator. One predator <coughs> sorry. One predator would have killed all this. Killed all that. It it would have just won the game right there. Um for this I mean Necron versus Tau is really hard. I do think it's 50-50. It's like a coin flip. I do like this uh, Fire Warrior placement. That's good. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a pretty bad Solar Pulse. But I guess if you're winning, it doesn't matter. I'm still not a fan of Super uh, Necron Lord. It's just not a great build order. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of spending, like, 600 points on a Necron Lord. 600 points on a commander is just not great. Um, but yeah. This player, this Imperial Guard player wanted me to tell him his mistakes. Uh, go tier 2 with 5 generators. Uh, this is what... This is the 5th one now. Um, and usually what I do... This is probably wrong, but usually the I something I do, the moment I hit tier 2, I do get the economy upgrades. I get this economy upgrade, the blue one, and this green economy upgrade. <clears throat> as soon as I hit tier 2, I get the economy upgrades. Because they pay off uh, immediately, basically. They, they always pay off. So I would get this economy upgrade first, and this economy upgrade. And I would actually go grenades. Grenades, just go up here or something. Just move around the map. Just and you do have the attack uh, upgrades, right? So you can just annihilate all of this. And look at that, they're all in yellow. So really just one grenade. One grenade would kill all of this. So, yeah. Uh, another mistake is harassment. Uh, Tau, you can easily harass. Like... Okay, so here's another mistake. You can easily harass Tau. Uh, command squad just... Annihilates the Tau commander. Uh, kills fireworks, no problem. Kills crew, no problem. Kills stealth suits, no problem. You can just command squad and just kill everything. You can destroy these generators in like two seconds. Command squad can destroy this generator in actually like two seconds. So you can easily, easily, easily uh, just harass Tau. No problem at all. So that's another mistake. Um, wow, Space Marine actually got the relic. That's weird. I guess no one took it. Uh, the Land Raider. The Land Raider is. Probably the best vehicle in the game. So the Land Raider, you know, not a bad idea. Um, not a huge fan of these building placements. These are your most important buildings. And they're just right there. So I think a mistake for Baru is these building placements are awful. You definitely want to hide this one. You, a you, you need to hide uh, the summoning core. You need to hide this building. And this building here doesn't really matter. You can put this wherever. But I'm still not a huge fan of this building placement. Um, what else? This is so weird. Space Marine has this one. Necrons has this one. And then Space Marine has this one. This is not efficient at all. Space Marine has this relic. Necron said, this is such a, I don't know how these guys won. This is such a cluster. This is, this is not, this is not even close to being efficient. But yeah, um, again, Nijibru, really, really strong player. He could absolutely wipe the floor with me. Uh, this guy played like an easy computer. This guy just did weird Necron. Necron Lord doesn't even work. Uh, priest can like, the priest can like one shot the Necron Lord, so I, I don't even know how this, 
I don't even know how this happened. The priest can just one shot the Necron Lord basically. And Tao, Tao did Tao was very passive. Tao was actually very passive the whole game. So you can just walk up and do whatever you want. They were just like, hey, just walk up and fight me. So And this is this is a Tao main too. This is a hardcore Tao main. And you can just walk up and just do whatever you want to him. Uh, again, the Tau Commander, you can just, you know, not a big fret, so. And you could forward turret. Uh, Tau really struggles with forward turret. You could absolutely forward turret. So that's advice for you. I know not everyone likes forward turret, but if you want me to point out mistakes, hey, uh, forward turret. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, hopefully you're happy with this. Uh, Nijibu. I will never pronounce that right. Uh, and thanks for watching. Uh, bye.